Good evening. Sir. How are you? In the area of technology, uh, I read recently, probably last month, about a small town in Massachusetts where the curriculum was so technology driven, computers and laptops or whatever, that there were some students who could not afford to buy a laptop to bring to school. But because the school was so adamant about this curriculum, that it went to court. And I think the final outcome was that the town had to pay to get, you know, so that everybody had an equal education, that the town had to pay uh, to buy equipment for those students who could not afford to buy it. Have you heard anything about that, or would you like to comment on that? Well, the only You're just saying here about developing a, a, a bring-your-own-device. Well, what if a student cannot afford to bring his own device, and he goes into that classroom, and everybody else has a computer or a laptop, right. they're stuck. Well, well, you know that this district has made a significant commitment to technology, um, that in our buildings now we have portable, um, we have um, laptops, uh, we have desktops in the classroom, and we also have the iPad, mobile iPad labs. Um, so there's plenty of access for students. Um, but we also knew that we needed to continue that, to have a tool in the youngsters' hands that allowed them in every class to use that. And um, so the district has gone ahead um, with a one-to-one -one initiative. And we just uh, purchased 600 uh, Chromebooks. 300. I'm sorry, 300. Okay. All right, so I wanted 600. <laughs> um, 300, thank you. 300, um, uh, which would be 150 at third grade, which they will keep third, fourth, and fifth grade. That will be their uh, handheld uh, Chromebook for the three years that they're at Marston. At Hampton Academy, we also bought one for every sixth grader um, at Hampton Academy, which they will keep for their um, three years at Hampton Academy. Again, a nice transition because Winnicunnet is doing the same thing, and they have a one-to-one -one initiative. So um, we are working on having that, that tool in the youngsters' hands. You know, one would question, well, you, that kind of expenditure and what's wrong with pencil and paper. You know, we hear that, but the issue is what are the technological challenges that our youngsters are going to face in the world of work and the world of learning. And so we are, in fact, uh, uh, supporting that uh, and uh, has been well received. Right now, we ha the kids have not received their uh, Chromebooks yet. We're working with the staff and doing training and preparing for that. We're waiting for actually for the, for the uh, delivery. So you have met that challenge. We that have met that challenge. And that uh, right. that everybody will have right. access to the right. same because level you, of equipment and right. great. You don't want to be well, I didn't, in I, our I business. When I saw what happened in that other town, I said, wow. You know, and imagine how that would fracture a community yeah, by yeah. separating youngsters out. We, make, we work I very court. hard. That's right. We work very hard to bring equity to all of our children in the classrooms. Thank you. I, I, if I can just build on I just yeah. want to say it's a great question and I want to make sure as people hear 300 Chromebooks and a one-to-one -one initiative Google's done a really great job and many of the manufacturers out there in the industry have followed uh, working hard to try to bring a price point in that made sense for public school districts I mean we talked for the last three years that we've been here about the technology we talked about computers there was a day when you, when you were buying desktops and getting them under a thousand dollars and that was exciting not yesterday or even in the last three years but in this in in my dozen years doing this let's say a thousand dollar getting under a thousand bucks was where you went with a desktop and those laptops were really expensive because they'd be twelve fourteen hundred dollars uh, and we had come to a point where we had set ourselves with an inventory turn expectation where we were looking at six and eight hundred dollars as price points for the tools that we were purchasing when we managed to buy Chromebooks for less than 300,000, 300 bucks a piece, right? You go to the market, you get them at, at uh, your, your um, Best Buy, et cetera, your uh, Circuit City doesn't exist anymore, but you go there and get those at 299 to $300. That's really the intended price point. We came in a little under that, 260 and change, uh, but then we managed some financing that we secured a negative interest rate on because we were able to identify or gain commitment on what the residual value will be at the end of three years. They gave us credit for that. They'll take that back at three years so that we won't risk what a child is going to do to those things in the next three years. 
carrying it around, and then have 300 of them stacked up in my office trying to figure out who I was going to pay to salvage them or to take them. Because we've done a great, uh, we've done some great work in the last couple of years getting rid of big monitors and desktops and such that cost us money per unit because of what's inside them and that needs to be disposed of properly. So again, we've done everything we can to try to launch this initiative only because we were able to see a price point that came in well under 300 bucks a piece that way. We're looking at that investment being good for three years of a child's experience uh, and, and done it at a negative interest rate. So doing everything we can to try to to try to move forward like this, but do so without wasting or squandering. That's with the software, the software loaded, right? Yeah, that's with the, that's all the software. You don't have there's no because it's the Google and the Google universe, and it really runs on Chrome, which is a browser more than anything, like your Internet Explorer or your Mozilla Firefox. The interface is a little different. The ultimate functionality is the same, uh, but there's no Microsoft licensing, which has really become a, the bane of this kind of initiative, because every time you have to kick out for kick out for you know the uh, the uh, the operating system itself windows and then for word and excel and the slideshow the kids are going to do and pretty quick you've you've doubled the cost of your unit so uh, this is a it's a great thing the market has brought to us and we're hopeful that it will be a great success in the classroom so thank you